Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's video is our third empties of the year. There are a lot of things to go through, so let's get started. But first, please subscribe because I do use up a lot of product here and I share them with you. July empties, bunch of stuff. Okay, first up, press on nails. I usually don't wear press on nails. I'm wearing um, nail polish exclusively, but for the summer holiday, I thought I would wear this fun glazed donut nail. A press on nail and it came off in two days they started popping off and even if you use the best glue I bought this at the Asian market so obviously it was really really cheap and it was so bad that it was crazy um, I used this one up and I don't think I'll be buying press on nails again or I could buy from Sensei because those are good but I don't think I want any of these so thankfully this is gone I finished up this face wash from L'Oreal, it was the Rare Flowers one. So this lasted me such a long time, but I don't like it. This is more like a milky consistency, it's really, really interesting. I don't think it removed the makeup properly, and it just left like this film on the skin. So sometimes I used it honestly to clean my brushes and stuff, and my beauty uh, sponges because it just wasn't the best thing, so I'm really, really glad this is gone. I would definitely not repurchase. This was so good. This is body, what is this superfood? Body superfood. Basically, this is a body gel cream, so body lotion. This was the watermelon one. I used it up in three weeks for the summer because this is amazing. This is from Garnier, of course. I just love this stuff. I think for next summer, I might repurchase this because this was so, so good. Of course, for the hot weather, I went through a lot of body wash. So this is from Baba. This was, it says meringue flavor or scent or whatever. This smelled like raspberry, which was really, really beautiful. And of course, the cherry one from Dove. This wasn't that great, but this I would definitely repurchase. I loved it for next summer. Another body wash was the English Rose, or what is it called, British Rose from The Body Shop. Amazing, I need to get the full size. This is a Charmy perfume that I got from my friend. It wasn't full, so I just flowed through this. This is a bit too powdery, it kind of, probably trying to be a dupe for the Chanel number no. 5 um, of course I don't even know where to get it so I will not repurchase and another gift from my friend was this set of the moisturizer um, I'm just not as crazy about it so I will not repurchase this primer from Essence this is the hello good stuff watermelon which is the dupe for the glow recipe I actually use this as serum so I love that as serum and I love the watermelon scent on this I actually have no this was my second one of this so probably should pick up another one soon I'll see and then some actual primer this is the mattifying primer from she of course for summer this is the perfect primer I love it I love it I finished up two foundations however am I showing it to you so these are the two foundations that I finished because I mixed them together this is a little bit too dark this is the butter one from physicians formula and this is the tinted serum from Catrice. So these were my summer for June and July foundations. Um, together they were perfect. Both of them are hydrating and lightweight and beautiful on the skin. But even together they were a tiny bit too dark. So I'm just glad that they are gone. I might pick up both of these later because these were really amazing. I finished up this concealer sample thing. I don't know. So these are the shades that were in here. The darker ones I've shown you before, I think. Yeah, I did show this to you. So, the, so I've shown you before that the darker ones I used up as contour and liquid bronzer. And then the lighter ones, of course, I used on my face. Um, they were nice, but I just don't think I would buy the full size. It's not worth it. I finished this concealer. This is a stick concealer from Rimmel. This is the Hide the Blemish. Absolutely perfect stick concealer. One of my favorites. I don't think I'll pick this up soon because I have so many, but this is worth it. I definitely would recommend. Summer is for powders, so I finished up two. I finished up this actually on my body, so this is the Sensei setting powder. And then I finished up the Douglas, what are you called? Blooding. Yeah, blooding powder in translucent. Um, this one I didn't really like. This was kind of not that good. So I don't think I'll be picking up any of these because I just don't need them. I'm glad they're gone from the collection. 
finally I finished up this blush from Lovely. This is the Ombre Blusher. This was way too pigmented. I looked like a clown whenever I used it, so I basically just used it in DIY projects. Um, I'm so glad it's gone. It's crazy. I finished up eyeshadow, which is quite amazing. So I finished up this Makeup Obsession. This was actually a banana powder, but I used it on my eye to set the eyelid. I used it for almost a year before it was gone. And then I finished this, this eyeshadow palette. I also used this mostly for makeup DIYs, but thankfully this is gone from the collection. It just wasn't that amazing, actually. I don't need she eyeshadow anymore. That's not that good. Finally, I finished up this brow pencil. This is the Duo Light... Um, what is it called? This is the Brow Duo from Art Deco. It had the pencil, which is coming apart, if you can tell. Wow. The whole thing is coming apart. So this was the pencil. And it still has some brow powder in it, which still has some, but it's just way too dark that I'm not going to use this. It was way too dark for me. This is shade 12. Um, honestly, it was a dark brown. I didn't really like it. The product itself is good, but I just don't need anything this dark. And I honestly have had better pencils, so I will not be repurchasing. Two lippies. I finished up this liquid lipstick from Rimmel. This is a Stay Matte in Coral Sass. It was a really fun color for summer. And I still have a bunch of these, so I still have like five of the Rimmel liquid lipstick. So I kind of want to finish those. And of course I finished this, what, what am I showing to you? And of course I finished this lip gloss from Max Factor. What was this called? This is the Elixir something. I'll put the name here because I just cannot see it on here anymore because it kind of rubbed off. This was a luxurious berry. If you can tell, it was a really pretty pink. I love it. I don't know. Is there anything else in it so I could probably show you how gorgeous this is? Not really. I used every last bit of it. Uh, but yeah, nothing's coming out. I still have two more of these. I have a light pink. And I have uh, a red one, which is really exciting, especially for Christmas. Um, now I bought the 2000 calorie one because I don't think these are available anymore, but they have new ones, which I definitely would recommend. So Max Factor Lip Gloss is just always a great idea. And then a setting mist, this was the Vivo, what is it called? Wet Me, Set Me. It was really, really nice, but I just kind of want to finish up stuff. So these were the empties for July. August empties. There are a lot of things here because I did a lot of makeup DIY. So let's get started. Cherry Blossom Body Lotion from Nivea. This was my second or third one. I absolutely loved it. I use it to create a DIY glowy lotion. Absolutely love the scent on this. I think for a while I'm good with this scent, but I will definitely repurchase more Nivea Body Lotion because these are amazing. Dove Cucumber Deodorant. I love a good spray bottle for the heat wave, so it was perfect. Have repurchased, will always repurchase. I have a couple of hair stuff. This is the color, actually, of my hair right now. So this is from uh, Schwarzkopf Palette, of course. This is called Ashy Mid Blonde, I guess. Probably mine is cooler, but I just love the cool tone on this hair dye. So this is absolutely perfect. I wanted a cooler tone of hair for autumn. The Uriage Anti-Dandruff. Oh, there is a little bit left, as you can tell. Well, you know, that's it. So this is the Uriash Anti-Dandruff Shampoo, which was really, really good compared to what I used before because I used one from Herbal Essences, which irritated my skin. And this kind of made it better. It's not the perfect product. It doesn't make all of the dandruff go away, but the itching and the scratching absolutely stops. So this is really, really nice on the scalp. The dry shampoo has got to be the Sios. This is the Anti-Grease. Always, always, always adore this. I have two backups of this already. Sunscreen. I love this stuff. It's not greasy. It's really, really light on the skin. This is the Glycone SPF 50, 50 plus. I got it as a gift from my friend, but it was the perfect product. Obviously, I use it up for the heat wave. Another deodorant because it was really, really hot and I use a lot of deodorant. This is the same scent. This is the cucumber one from Dove and this is uh, the stick form. I absolutely adore this. I will always repurchase these things. These are kind of like my favorite deodorant. Ever. I used up this Mont Paris from uh, YSL perfume 
And I feel like I want to keep this stuff, like the, the ribbon with the YSL logo. I think I'm going to remove it and just kind of put it in a bag or something. Because this is so, so cute. This was really nice and flowery, but by the end I got really, really sick of it. I don't think I repurchased this particular product, but it was really, really nice. I mean, it's a YSL perfume, of course. I think I'm going to keep the bottle to display. I don't know. Finish this hand cream from Douglas because I say I wouldn't buy any of these, but actually I have these at work. This was really, really, this is the Happy Spring. It was a really nice flowery scent. I love the scent on this. And the really plus side of this is that it's really, really fast absorbing, but unfortunately did not hydrate my hands. So I will not repurchase this product or these kind of products ever again. And then for face stuff, I do have this, um, I do have this scrub. This face scrub, this is the Nivea Glow Rice Scrub with raspberry. I loved it. Um, I thought I wanted to try other things. Let's just put it that way. It was really, really nice, but I wanted to try other things. And then the serum from, what is it? Physicians Formula. This is the Hydra Boost Skin Booster. No, this is the Hydrating Skin Booster Vitamin uh, Serum. I loved it, but I used it up in three weeks. This is just really, really small. I could repurchase, but of course there are so many things that I want to try, so probably not. But it was good. And now to all of the makeup. First, I'm gonna show you the things that I actually used up and then the makeup DIYs. So of course I used up this foundation. This was the MUA Pro Base, the Mattifying Matte Longwear, foundation the color was 110 the color was a tiny bit too yellow even though I'm very yellow myself and it was really matte and it dried so so fast and of course and of course this is one of these you know spatula applicators which was funny but I could use it so that was not a big deal um it's not my favorite type of a product I just put it that way I prefer a dewy skin tint or especially something like a, a serum foundation like this one from Douglas. I adore this one. So I don't think I repurchased this. Actually, I will definitely not repurchase this. And then I finished this powder. This is the Lasting Radiance from Rimmel. To be fair, I used this on my body for the heat wave. I just really need to use something on my scar um, where I've been operated on. So this was actually the perfect thing. I used it on my scar. I don't need to repurchase this. It was fine, but it's a powder. I have other powders. We're moving on. I have a bunch of eyebrow products, if you can tell. Um, I finished, finally, I finished this brow gel, which is from She. You cannot tell because everything has worn off of it. It was okay, but by the end of it, it kind of bunched up and it kind of dried weird in these really thick chunks on my eyebrow. So at first it was fine, but by the end of it, it just really, really needed to be used up. So now it's gone and I have a new one. I will not repurchase. And I have two of these brow pencils because this one kept breaking on me. So first up, I finished this one. This is from Weibo. This was a really nice pencil. This was a really nice pencil I might repurchase. Uh, if I want to get a cute pencil, so I would definitely recommend this. But this one is from Zara, which was not even uh, that cheap, and it just kept breaking. I basically finished this in two weeks. This is one of those microfine pencils. Of course, it has a spoolie, but who cares if you can use it up like so, so easily because it's always breaking. It doesn't matter how small of the product I put up. It just kept breaking, so I really, really don't like this anymore, even though this is refillable. I'm just getting rid of it. I don't want it. I finished this mascara from Rival Loves Me. Probably I should show you the correct way. So this is the Superstar Mascara. And this is kind of dried up already. So I used it for like three, four. I think I used it for four months. That's how long I usually use my mascaras. And this just dried up. It was really, really nice, especially in the beginning. But um, I just need to buy new mascaras from Rival because this was really, really good. And then lip stuff. This one is absolutely in shatters. This was the Miss Porty. Oh, it's breaking into pieces. So this was the Miss Porty lip liner. I don't know if I could show you. This was in the shade Coconut. Really lovely, one of my favorite shades of lip liner ever. This was the perfect brown to go with any kind of lipstick, lip gloss, anything. It's gone and now they have new type of uh, lip liners, which I'm trying currently. I'll let you know what I think, but 
this was just so, so perfect. I'm just sad this is gone and these products are gone. And then a lip gloss. As you can tell, it's completely gone. This was from P2. This is the Volume Revolution. And it was this really, really cute, like lilac-y, see-through, shiny, shimmery, really, really amazing lip gloss. I used it for summer. I loved it. I have so many things that I really, really don't need to repurchase anything, but if I ever would need a lip gloss, this would definitely need to be repurchased. And the stuff that I DIY'd into glowy products basically are all highlighters. So of course I used up this old liquid highlighter from Barry M. This was the liquid chrome. The shade was some, something unicorn. What is it called? No, it was called Moon Potion. So I used up this shade called Moon Potion. It was nice, I just put it in my lotion to use this on my body for summer to especially on my legs and my arms and my shoulders if I'm wearing like a strapless or strappy dress. And then of course I use all of these products to create this really, really glowy body lotion basically. So this is a highlighter from Revolution. This is the Strobe Highlighter, which is this amazing white with a green shift. I absolutely adore this. I actually have another one which is more like a Halloween edition, but I already have another one of this, so that was a reason why I could finish this one up. And then this is the Molten Gold from Maybelline. This is the Mestochrome. I just really love a good gold highlight on the body for summer, so this was gone. And then this eyeshadow from Rimmel. This is the Magnifies, and the shade is called... And the shade is called Q Jump. This was a white one. I just put it in my body lotion basically. I use it on my legs. So these are the empties for August. September empties. There is a lot of stuff which I need to throw out so let's get going. It was really really hot in the beginning of the month so of course I finished two body washes. This is the Kame strawberry one and of course the Baba watermelon one. I love these. If I see this one I will definitely repurchase Kame uh, body washes are so so freaking amazing. I just love these and Baba, I think this is my third bottle of this so all throughout my life uh, I already have a backup. I love this stuff. This is my all-time favorite. The small little container was actually a glowy body lotion Probably I could show you that this was in there uh, This was the stuff that I DIY'd. I mixed up body lotion highlighters and liquid highlighters to create this glowy, goldeny, really, really shiny body lotion that I put on my arm, on my chest, and on my legs for summer. And I finished this one up. It was amazing. I already have a backup, which is more of a pinky shade. I'll share that next time. This is a regular body lotion. This is the Tree Hot Watermelon. I absolutely love this scent. And this is a really, really long-lasting one. Um, is it worth it for this price? Hmm, probably not that much. I might want to try out the coconut one. We don't have that many scents here in Hungary from Tree Hut. There are way more in the States as I've seen in videos on TikTok. But this is really nice. I don't think I repurchased this particular one, especially for this price. Um, I might want to try the coconut just because I'm curious. But I don't think I'll be a regular user of uh, Tree Hut body lotions when Nivea is just way more worth it for the price. I finished up this perfume that I got from my friend. Hopefully I could show you. This is Jet Femme or Jet Femme. I don't know how you can say this. This wasn't a whole bottle. It was really nice. It was a fresh scent which I loved for the end of summer so obviously I will not repurchase because I don't know where this is available and I have many things going on so this is fine. This is gone. One hair stuff. This was this duo kind of a product which had uh, shampoo and then conditioner in it. This is from Balea from uh, Drogery Marks and this was the watermelon one. I really love this. I basically bought this for summer for travel. I didn't really travel. Well, actually I didn't travel at all, but I used it up anyways. It was a really champion scent and I totally love this product. I actually repurchased the Balea uh, conditioner, which is the vanilla scented. So this is really good, I recommend. And now into the face stuff. This is the Barium Serum Mist. I used this before moisturizer as my serum. It was really, really nice, but uh, I'm just preferring the regular droppers for serum, so I don't think I'll be repurchasing a serum spray 
in the future. I finished the Garnier Hyaluronic Aloe Moisturizer. This wasn't the jelly one, this was the white one. Probably you can tell there's a tiny little bit left on it. This was good, but the see-through one, the aloe jelly, the hyaluronic aloe jelly is way better. So I will not be repurchasing this, but the see-through aloe jelly one, definitely I just need it for next year. Okay, then cleansers. I finished this Alverde uh, foaming cleanser, which was so, so fun. This was um, the lime and apple scented one. I think it was green apple. It was supposed to be green apple. It smelled amazing, but it made your skin a little bit too squeaky clean uh, with no slip left. So I think it's just stripping your skin a little bit too much. I will not be repurchasing. It was a fun product because it was a foam, but um, I didn't like it that much. I just finished it basically. And then this was really nice. This is the Body Shop Cleansing Balm. This is the Chamomile. That's it. Sumptuous cleansing butter. Um, it's good. I just don't know if I would need this ever again. It's really really nice, but I think for the price, I would just prefer something like the Physicians Formula Matcha one because that's somewhat better. This is good. You can try this, but there are better things. It's good, but there are better things for the price, especially. And now the makeup. I finished up two primers. I actually cut this one open, if you can tell. This is the Douglas, Douglas. I even cut this one open. This is the Douglas Prime and Care Hydrating Makeup Primer. This was okay. It was a little bit too, like, gummy-esque. I don't know if I can explain that, like, the right way to you, but it was a little bit weird texture, so I'm glad that this is gone. Not be repurchasing, even though I usually love Douglas stuff. And then this is the NYX Freezy, which I absolutely adored and I would definitely need to be repurchasing. I don't really need primers and I kind of don't want to buy primers as such, but if ever, I feel like I would need something, especially for summer, which is a tiny bit cooling and which is a fun formula and a fun texture, then I would definitely go for this one. I highly, highly recommend the NYX Freezy cooling primer. Okay, then I finished this foundation. Probably you can tell like this one that it's all the way empty. This is the Art Deco Perfect Tint Tint. I don't know how to say that exactly. Um, it was nice. It wasn't anything special. I finished it. It's gone. It's okay. Not be repurchasing. And then two concealers. This was more of like a color correcting one that I use because this is this creamy sticky concealer from She. This was more of a, I don't know if there is enough to show you. Um, this was more of a pinky peachy shade, which I used on my dark circles, which was fine. Um, this was really, really creamy. I really loved it. I have so many things, so I don't need to repurchase this, but it's a really, really beautiful um, color correcting stick concealer, if you're into that. And then, of course, the L'Oreal Infallible. I adore this. I will definitely repurchase this. Probably in one shade darker, this was three to five. So probably I need something a little bit darker, but it was perfect. I love the consistency. I love the coverage. I love the blend. I love everything about this. I will definitely need a backup of this. The Kiko Holiday Premier Powder. Um, this was a powder. This was okay. Not be repurchasing. It's just not that amazing. I finished the lipstick, finally. I'm finishing lipsticks. So this was the Miss Porty Wonder Smooth, which I've swatched on my channel like such a long time ago. And this was in the shade Heroic Copper, if you can tell. This was not a copper, this was more like this really, really brownie nude. Really pretty brownie nude. Probably this is how much I can still show you. I've been wearing this in videos. I love Miss Porty lipstick. I don't have many of these left. So I'm just systematically using these up. This was perfect, but now it's gone. This is unfortunately not available, but I have other Miss Porty lipsticks, so I'm just good with it. And then finally, a setting spray. This is the Physician's Formula Butter One. Smells amazing, but the problem is that the mist was not an even mist. It was really harsh on the bottom of the sprayer, so it kind of hit your chin really, really strongly, and then there was nothing on your forehead, so... Probably it's just this one that's faulty, but the product is great, but the mister is just... Ah. Okay, so this was everything for September, and then also for this part of the year, and check out the next one uh, early next year, so that would be the next quarterly one, and then until then, use your product, and bye!